Hi, this is Link, and somebody left me a message and they wanted to know how to um, how to know the Lord was directing them to do something. If, the, if you have a dream, how do you know whether the dream is from the Lord, and how to make decisions. I'm, I'm just going to make a kind of a broader topic uh, video on how to make decisions. Um, one of the uh, in in my uh, in my past, you know, when I was getting ready to marry my wife. Um, I was praying about it, and it felt like the Lord was telling me that this was the one I was going to marry, and um, the woman that I was supposed to marry, and I kept praying about it. But one of my friends told me, um, if I'm going to make a decision, I just tell the Lord, uh, Lord, this is what I want to do. If you don't want me to do it, stop me. And I thought, well, that's the most unspiritual thing I've ever heard. But then I talked to him later about it, and he explained what he meant. He said, whenever I have to make a decision, if I get some direction from the Lord, yeah, I, I listen to that, I follow that. If I'm reading the Bible, um, is I, I'll, I'll read the Bible, I'll, I'll consider what the Bible says. Is there anything about my decision that goes against the principles in Scripture? Is the Lord speaking anything specific to me? He said, I'll pray about it. And then, uh, he said, not making a decision is making a decision. You're deciding to do nothing. So uh, just make a decision. Tell the Lord, this is the decision I want to make. I want to honor you in it, but um, this is what I want to do. And if you, this is not what you want me to do, then stop me. So that sounded a lot more spiritual. Somebody else gave me the, the same advice, and that, that was helpful to me. But I also was very thankful and, and glad that the Lord was giving me direction that, that my wife was the woman I'm, I was supposed to marry. But even about that decision, in the, in the Bible, we got the example of uh, Isaac wanting to get a wife, or um, Abraham wanting to send a servant to get a, a wife uh, for Isaac. Um, the servant prayed that the Lord would send an angel to choose uh, before him to, to find the right woman. So he, he met Rebecca, that was the right woman. The Lord set it up. It, that sign that he prayed for came to pass. Um, she um, dipped all that water out of the well to feed him, or to give water to him and his camels, and, and it was fulfilled. But um, any, anyway, in the New Testament it says if you um, that, uh, for example, a widow may marry whomsoever she wills, but only in the Lord. Um, it also says if you've married, you have not sinned. Not if you didn't hear God tell you that you have to marry that person, you haven't. Uh, you have sinned. No, we have a lot of freedom even in those really big decisions. And my advice is, if you're planning on getting married. Um, as a believer, I would really urge you, especially in this day and age with all the divorce and everything, to really pray about it and really seek to make sure you have peace with the Lord before you make any decisions about that. Now, how does the Lord direct us? If you have a dream to do something, does that mean it's the Lord? Well, uh, Jeremiah talked about, uh, the Lord gave Jeremiah prophecies about um, prophets that were prophesying their dreams and versus prophesying the word of the Lord. There were people that were prophesying dreams of their own hearts. Um, whatever they, they dreamed at night, and it was their own dreams, and it wasn't from the Lord. Um, and that's clear from the book of Jeremiah, that not every dream is from the Lord. But on the other hand, we have several examples of dreams that are from the Lord. You have the dream of uh, dreams of Joseph. You have the dreams of Pharaoh, dreams of Nebuchadnezzar. There's a dream of some Midianite um, about Gideon, about a, a, a barley roll, a roll of barley uh, bread rolling down the hill and hitting the tent and knocking it over, and the other person interpreted it and, and the dream to say that this was uh, Gideon, the son of Joash, if I remember right, what's his dad's name. And and so, anyway, there, there are lots of people that receive dreams in the Bible, so God can speak through dreams. And I'm impressed with Joseph when he gets this dream that Mary uh, had a child from the Holy Spirit. He believed the dream, and he, uh, he packed up his family and moved to Egypt based on a dream. Um, and he returned based on a dream. So he had he had a lot of faith, and he could perceive the will of God. So if you if you feel like the Lord is telling you to do something, if you believe the Lord is speaking to you through a dream or through some other means, um, here's the advice I would give. Um, first of all, any decision you make, it needs to be in line with what the Bible with what the Bible teaches. And sometimes you know you may misunderstand what the Bible says, and um, so, you know, you need to understand, you need to pray, you need to seek for guidance, you need to seek for leadership from the Holy Spirit. And um, how, there's a verse in, in Psalms. I, I think the person who sent me the question was a young man, so this is an appropriate verse, especially for him. Um, how can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your word. That's Psalms 119.9. If we want to have, keep our ways pure before the Lord, we need to live according to his word. We need to live according to the Bible. The Bible also says, trust in the Lord with all your heart 
and lean not to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths so whenever you want to make a decision honor the Lord in the decision pray about it read the Bible about it honor the Lord May, when you when you're making your decision making process think what's going to honor the Lord how is this going to honor the Lord um, and keep the Lord first in your decision making pray about it see if the Lord gives you some direction not every decision you make is going to come from some sort of specific a word from God for most people. A lot of uh, sometimes the Lord does the providence thing, where He sets things up for you and things fall into place. Like uh, if you read the book of Ruth, there's no indication there that Ruth heard God tell her to go follow Naomi, or that she heard God say go marry Boaz or whatever. And also Ruth was influenced by Naomi's advice, and that's another way you can get uh, good direction to make decisions. If you have a godly person to speak to and share with, you can give you some advice. And sometimes the older saints are good at that, people who've been through whatever decisions that you want to make, they've done similar things in the past. And it's good to learn from their mistakes rather than make your own if you're going to do that. Um, as far as knowing whether a dream is from the Lord or some sort of direction, uh, what my advice is, is consider does the decision I want to make contradict the Bible? Does What are the consequences for the decision if I'm wrong? Um, now, if it's the Lord and you're confident about it and you can perceive it's the Lord, go for it, you know. But if you're not sure and you think, well, maybe this is my imagination, maybe it's too much pizza, I had a dream, you know, and you don't know if it's from the Lord, then um, consider it as a first of all with any decision you need to consider does it line up with the Word of God but also think about it if you're the dream if you have a dream of you going to Africa and you have kids to take care of you want to make sure that's from the Lord if you're gonna pack up and leave your job and go to Africa but if it's something like you have a dream that somebody's poor and in the dream you're supposed to give that person some money to help them pay their light bill and you know the person and you've got some money and maybe they need some help with a light bill there's no and you have the money to give them there's no harm in giving the money in fact it's very much in line with the Bible to give the money to the other person to help the other person out so there's a lot of things you may get a prophecy you don't know for sure if it's from the Lord or not but you know if it's one of those kind of things and it's very much in line with the gospel and it's in line with something that you're at liberty to do as a Christian and it's not going to harm anyone and it's it does good I just why not do it why not do a, pro, uh, a thing like that and then there's some other if somebody um, prophesies over you and it, it's one of those things go to pack your bags and go to Africa right now um, you would need to know you need to have some confidence that that's from the Lord to be able to walk in that now um, over at times you know you may be able to perceive as you mature you may be able to perceive that what you someone's telling you or what you're getting in a dream you can just sense it yes this is the word of the Lord and you believe it and you move on it and you act on it but a, a lot of decisions perhaps most of the decisions you're gonna make on a daily basis come from if you're um, living in the Word of God if you're uh, you're um, reading the Word of God you're meditating on it you're praying you're honoring the Lord and all all that you do a lot of the decisions you make grow out of your Christian walk like that and it's not always lightning bolts from heaven or, or you know signs dropping down from heaven telling you to do this or telling you to do that um, and if you're praying for direction sometimes you'll get direction sometimes I mean you you, you can expect to get direction you know uh, there's a there's a verse that comes comes to mind um, if you remain in me and my words remain in you ask whatever you wish and it will be given you um, you know if God's word remains in you then then you have uh, then the, the Lord is working on your desires he's working on your your dreams and your visions and your goals and all these things that you're wanting to do if you're serving him and if you're honoring him and so even your prayers you know if you're in that mode and you're praying then it will be done unto you because you know the Lord the word of the Lord is living in you and you're cooperating with God and when you ask God is you're moving in the same direction with God and similar thing when you make you and you can pray about the decisions you're making too and with that attitude and that uh, when you're remaining in the Lord's work but a similar thing is is the decisions that you make when you're following the Lord you're trusting in the Lord the Lord is going to direct your paths the Lord will help you so if you've got any kind of uh, decisions that you need to make if you need to interpret some sort of dream or some sort of sign in your life remember uh, you need to know the Word of God. You need to pray. You need to honor the Lord. And if you if you had some dream or something, and you think you're supposed to play trumpet in band or something in high school or whatever, you know, and you you're praying about it, 
uh, you can pray, Lord, I think this is what you want me to do because I had a dream of playing a trumpet and honoring the Lord later in my life. So I'm going to try to f fulfill that. But Lord, if that's not your will, do something to stop me from doing this. You can, you can pray along those lines and then start taking action. And then sometimes if the Lord doesn't like it, then things won't, will, will get in your way. And uh, if things get in your way, that doesn't necessarily mean the Lord doesn't like it because sometimes there's opposition. But, um, it, and if the, if you're obeying the Lord, you can trust the Lord to direct your path. So God bless you. I hope this video uh, has been a help to someone um, who's who needs some help with decision making and that sort of thing. So God bless you. And if this has uh, been a blessing to you, feel free to share the link with someone else that you think it would be a blessing to. Thanks.